Hey guys and welcome to a video on how you can gain charms like an absolute machine. So when you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax and enjoy. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to get charms easily and fast, but first we're going to take a look at an item that you can get right now that allows you to get pretty much double charms in most areas of RuneScape, and that is the Charming Potion. The Charming Potion gives you a base plus one charm drop on any monster's charms. This therefore means any monster that drops one charm at a time, like Aberrant Spectres, Hellhounds, Water Fiends, and so on, pretty much give you double charms. And that is amazing if you're trying to save up charms for 99 or 120 summoning. To make this potion, you require one or two Herblore, but there's a catch. If you're a regular account watching this video, rip iron memes by the way, you can simply buy on the Grand Exchange. Ah, I caught you, Protox. You're trying to merge these charming potions, aren't you now? Uh, guys, seriously, it's just a video about the charming potion. Any video I make nowadays, like the Ripper Demon method, people said I was merching onyxes. Because I'm... <laughs> Please, it's getting out of hand, guys. No, seriously, though, these are a great way of increasing your charms, and that is why I'm making this video. Because I'm obviously trying to merge crimson charms. So how do you get charms? Where would I use this potion? Well, for example, you can use it at Dagonoffs on the Waterbirth Island. I have an old guide covering this, and it's very cheap to set up. Aggression potions are slightly more expensive now, but it's still 300 to 350 charms per hour base. You could get more using a Royal Cannon, or alternatively just use a Charming Potion for, like, 50k an hour, and get 600 to 700 Crimson Charms here. That is fairly good. You'll also be getting 300k plus common experience per hour, and you'll be getting some summoning experience per hour from crushing the gold and green charms you don't want. Or you could do Water Fiends, which are easily 500 to 600 charms per hour, which means 1,000 to 1,200 charms per hour using the Charming Potion. This is excluding triple charms from familiarization, guys. 1,200 charms per hour with a Charming Potion simply by sipping a potion? That is insane. Take a minute to realize that if you're going for 120 summoning using Pack Yaks and you're using your 99 cape that saves 5% of your charms, you'll only need around 117,000 base crimson charms on double experience weekend, which means you could get that within 100 hours. Now you might be like, whoa, hold up, 100 hours, but keep in mind, it is a 120, it isn't a 99, and that's excluding spirit gems and other charm saving items that can reduce that amount by a lot more. Excelled Cal fights AFK aren't a bad way of getting blue charms either. They are around 200 blue charms per hour or more. I think it might be lower depending on your gear. I was getting 210 an hour and around 90 crimson per hour and some golds and greens. But that's definitely not bad considering you can do this with subjugation and a tier 80-ish weapon. This means with a charming potion you'd be getting a whopping 400 plus blues per hour at Excelled Cal fights AFK. That is impressive. If you're wondering how much summoning experience that is, well, 400 blue charms using Geyser Titans, excluding the charms you save by using various charm saving items, you are getting 626,000 summoning experience per hour AFKing Excelled Cal fights with a charming potion. Now, if you watch my Ripper Demon cannoning method in Legacy, you know you can get 750 plus Crimsons and 400 blues per hour or more at Ripper Demons. Now that is a lot of summoning experience. Now if you add a Charming Potion to the mix, that would be 1500 Crimsons and 800 Blues per hour. That's the equivalent on Double Experience Weekend of around 2.5 million plus summoning experience gained per hour in Charms. That is absolutely ridiculous. Now if you really want to shit out charms, you're going to have to do familiarization each week, which is available every two hours, then use your charm drop enhancer to get triple charms for like 45 minutes, and then add a charming potion to the mix, which stacks, and you'd be getting triple charms plus one. That means 2400 charms per hour at Water Fiends. Now that is slightly insane. 2,400 charms in one hour at a very easy method. Or you're starting out your summoning training and you need some gold charms. Well, go ahead and go to Hellhounds and just see what happens. This is just insane. The time to get 99 summoning or 120 summoning in charms has literally been cut in half. You guys are lucky. I had to do it all the way without charming potions. So, moral of the story, if you're gathering charms for 99 or 120 summoning, go ahead and use a charming potion. 
With that being said, hope you guys found this video useful, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.